If you constantly look at your phone, lift weight without belts, or sit for a long time without support, or do anything that includes forward bending for a long period, you are at risk for a condition called disc prolapse. Welcome to Anatomy Weekly. The incidence of a herniated disc is about 5 to 20 cases per 1000 adults annually and it is most common in people in the third to the fifth decade of life. While traumatic disc herniation can occur at any age, in young, it occurs mostly due to a sedentary and seated lifestyle. Being overweight, physically demanding jobs, driving for long hours, smoking are some of the other risk factors for prolapsed disc. A herniated disc may be found in many with no associated pain. And even if it is there, most of the disc related pain subsides over time. Unlike mechanical back pain, herniated disc pain is often burning or stinging and may radiate into the lower extremity. The pain is caused by the pressure of the herniated jelly-like nucleus pulposus on the surrounding nerves which may radiate to the area of its distribution. While most of the herniated disc resolves on its own, some advanced cases may present with severe pain, weakness or sensation changes and might need immediate medical or surgical attention. Maintaining the curve with lumbar support while doing our daily activities and strengthening our back muscles are some effective and easy way out of this painful situation.